Pat Walker here with Mission Winners. It is Sunday and once again time to dive into the ETFs and max list stocks. Here's the IBD 50. You can see right here on the weekly, this is dropping. It's dropping here on the daily. Gapped up Friday, ran up and closed below where it opened. This is why I love these price bars. Open, high, low, close. It tells us a tremendous amount of information. You combine that with weekly action, with price and volume, there's not a lot of power in the IBD 50 right now. By the way, that's not a criticism. No, it's just saying that quality growth stocks, there's not a lot of opportunity at this point in time. There you go, let's move on. Gold miners. Gold miners ran up, put a big tail bar in on the weekly. This is why we like to look at the weeklies. Ran up, reversed down on a pickup in volume. And those don't follow through here. And then a gap down on Thursday. So what does that tell us? Be cautious. Be cautious with the gold miners. Gold, be cautious with gold. Same situation. Gap down, runs up. Gap down. There's selling going on in gold. Avoid for right now. And it's choppy. This is not a clean and simple pattern. When you see a lot of price gaps, that indicates high investor emotions. High investor emotions is not conducive to good investing and good thought processes in the realm of investing. Let's move on here. Now, biotech doesn't look too bad, does it? IBB, perhaps this will start to lift off. You see that weekly base breakout right there? This is why we look at weeklies and daily. Here's the daily, but then you look at that weekly and go, oh, those were good tops. How was the volume on that bar? It was good. That was a potential buy there. Now, look at it here. It's a little bit extended. Be careful chasing price up here. If you own it, okay, I like to always give a game plan. If you own it down lower, if it pushes through these tops, it could be a potential add-on. Not a new buy, but add-on. Let's move on here. IEO, E-I-E-I-O, there's nothing here. Oil and gas, stay away. There's nothing to do with it. Just leave it alone. It's below a falling 50-day. Another key point, admission winners, we don't have to overanalyze it. It's below all the moving averages and the moving averages are falling. Forget it. Move on to the next one. Technology is just basing right here, but there's not a lot of power. This needs to, this is software technology. This needs to lift off this 50 day on volume, the green line. And I'd like to show you something that's very useful. This is why I love open, high, low, close. This is where it closed. It gaps up, it runs up and closes below where it opened. It was met with selling. There wasn't a lot of power there. A great tactic, key on stocks that are closing, not at the highs necessarily, but in the top half or third of their daily range. It will help you make better investing decisions. There's strength there, okay? This is just basing right here. It needs to lift off the 50-day and needs to do it with volume, okay? There we go. And that is software technology, ticker symbol IGV. Move on. What does this tell us? No, man, I think they need some drugs. <laughs> Anyway, I'm sorry I had to say it. Eli Lilly was a part of this decline right here, okay? There's really nothing to do with it at this time. Leave it alone, okay? I mean, especially when you get a gap down like this, just stay away. That's simple. Move on. Let's find better fish to fry. Aerospace and defense hanging in okay. ITA lifted up right here on a pickup in volume. It's a little bit extended. There's no entry on this right here, but you could punch up ITA and find out what are some of the leading stocks in that group. It may lead to an opportunity. ITA, that's the great systemization. Oh, by the way, let me stop a moment to mention our Market Minute videos that come out every day after the market close. If you have not had a chance to watch one yet, last Friday's will be linked in the top right corner. Feel free to watch it and come back after to finish the video. Home builders hanging in there. We own some home building stocks. And it's, yes, we do. And um, this, this is showing strength and it has shown strength. Lifted up here today on a slight pickup in volume in a relatively rough market. So that's good. Looking at some home builders. That's good to know. S&P 500 growth. Look at that. What does that say? Be careful with S&P 500 growth stocks. It's dropping. Just, and it's dropping on the weekly on increasing volume. Increasing selling volume. Just be a little cautious with that. All right. IWM. Small caps hanging in. Do a compare and contrast. Look at that. Here's here's right here, S&P 500 growth, eh, there's nothing there. And you go here and say, well, that's not too bad. There's no real clean entry on it, but it does tell you, and it has said there's some strength and shown us 
strength in small cap stocks. Look into some small cap stocks. That's good to know. There's power in knowing what to look for, potential opportunity. There's power in knowing what to avoid. There we go. Let's move on. Recent real estate's hanging in. Okay, home building and things like this. This one's hanging in okay. There's no real clean entry on it. Fell on fairly heavy volume on Thursday, but the trend is up on the weekly, so that's good. Maybe look into some real estate. Here we go. Transportation, stay away. I mean, look at the compare and contrast. Well, that's kind of moving up. Here you go. That's doing nothing. Leave it alone. Avoid transportation stocks. Airlines, avoid airline stocks. Jets. There's nothing there. Just leave it alone. Mid cap, a little choppy here. Okay. Ran up, tailed off a bit. Needs to take out the tops of that bar. That could be a potential buy. Also, it's above the rising 50 and it looks decent on the weekly. What does that say? I may be looking at some mid cap stocks. See, in this great areas to look into further and areas to avoid. Nail, home builders. All right. Looks pretty good. Are we involved with home building stocks? Yes, we are. It was telling us to. The ETF and the action on some of the stocks was saying, hey, you might want to buy me. And it's working. Now, I'm not saying buy it here. It's a little bit extended. But the trend is up, and that's nice to see. Something to watch. Home building stocks. Oil services whipped around here a little bit. Doesn't look too bad. Perhaps taking out the tops of this bar right there. Here's the weekly, by the way. This is why I like to look at weeklies. Oh, gosh, I went up on pretty good volume on that bar. Yes, and now you've got almost an inside bar right here. Okay? Let's see if it is an inside bar. No, it's just a little below that. Took out the lows just by hair. But it's, it's resting here. Doesn't look too bad. Could this lift through here? Yes. Now, here's the one risk. It moved up quite a bit just to get to this pivot line here. And I'll draw this to help you. There it is on the weekly. This is why I love weekly and dailies. See, there's the weekly. And then I can scrunch this up if you'd like. Cross here. There's the daily. And if you notice, team, and this is for everybody, this isn't fancy. It's just simple, simple flat base. Rallied up on decent volume, fell on decent volume, starting to pick up on decent volume. OIH across these tops, potential. There you go. Let's move on. Open this up a bit so it's easier to see. There we go. Don't scrunch up the bars so much that you can't see the nuances. Spread them out just a little bit. It'll really help you folks. Here we go. Pharmaceuticals kind of hanging in here. Wait a minute. There we go. Now, this is interesting. The market's a little sloppy. These are drugs. Folks, drugs, pharmaceuticals are defensive. You got to have the drugs if you're sick, right? Okay. You have to have medicine. We don't have a choice. This one's hanging in, perhaps taking out these tops. Also note, look at the volume pickup. On Friday, in a relatively sloppy market, it, it closed up on a pickup in volume. PPH and or pharmaceutical stocks. Let's move on. NASDAQ 100, weekly and daily. What does this tell us, folks? You see how this is dropping? And it fell on increasing volume and it fell on increasing volume. Like, oh, but Pat, it went up on Friday. It went up on less volume than it fell on. There's not a lot of power in this. Be careful with the NASDAQ 100. There you go. That's good to know. Let's move on. Same thing's true with QQQ. Move on. Retailing, it's kind of sloppy here, as you can see on the daily and also on the weekly. There's just not a lot of power there. It needs to really go up here before we'd be interested. Nothing to do with it. Not clean and simple. Move on. Silver is tarnished. I'm sorry I had to say it. It's dad humor. <laughs> you got to have fun too. There's nothing to do with it. You know, I mean, look at this. It gaps down, goes sideways, gaps down again on increased volume. Leave it alone. Stay away from silver. Stay away from silver stocks. There we go. Steel doesn't look too bad, but there's a lot of overhead supply here. This is why we look at weeklies and daily. So, oh, it doesn't look too bad here on the daily. Then you look at all this overhead supply on the weekly. Okay. By the way, most people don't know what overhead supply is. I'll explain this to you. There were people that bought the stock up here. You can say, how can you say that? Because the price went up there. People were buying it. They were selling, but they were buying. All up here, do you think there are people that bought it up there that didn't sell? Yeah, sure there are. Oh, I'm going to hang on to it. Now it's down here. If this starts to go back up, 
What do you think they'll do? Well, gosh, I was down, you know, six, seven points. Uh, my back near my price. I think I'm going to sell that sucker. That's called overhead supply. There you go. Nothing really to do with it. Just be cautious. Maybe right across here, but not a clean and simple tight spot. So be, be cautious. Semiconductors. What does it tell you on the weekly and the daily? Stay away. It's falling on increasing volume on the weekly and it's falling on volume pickups on the daily. It's below the 50 day. Leave it alone. What does that say? I'm going to summarize it. Stay away from semiconductor stocks. That's simple. There we go. Spider is a little sloppy here. It has support on the 50 day. Okay. But note, it bounced on Friday. It needs to take out the tops of this, this bar right here, and it needs to do it with volume. Also, on this bar, it closed near its lows on heavier selling volume. And here's the weekly, okay? There's just not a lot of power. What does that tell us? Be cautious with the S&P 500 stocks. Same thing's true with SSO. One plus on both of them. Watch. This one had less volume on Friday. SSO, the leveraged one, had a pickup in volume. So what does this say? They're the same thing, leveraged, okay? This is leveraged, Spiders is not. Could this bounce off here? Yes, what are we going to need to see? We'll lift off this top here, take out this high of this bar, and it needs to do it with heavy volume, okay? You could say, why did it do that on Friday? Possible, possible short covering, some short coverings came into it, so we'll see. But anyway, SSO taking out the highs of this bar with volume could be a potential buy, but go small. Solar, there's nothing there. Leave it alone. Look at all the overhead supply on the weekly. That's why I look at the weekly charts, too. I mean, you look at the daily and say, yeah, maybe a low-level cup with a handle. Then you look over here, you go, oh, man, no, leave it alone. Show you that. There we go. Let's move on. We're almost done. Small caps, another one, IWM and TNA, picking up a little bit here, and it's exhibiting some buying strength. Look at the green bars. There we go. Now that's a big ugly tail bar. Okay. So it needs to show some strength taking this out here. Also be aware, this is a leveraged ETF. Okay. This is not a one for one. It moves much faster. Okay. Up or down. So something maybe bear watching going forward. Let's move on. You oil, stay away. I mean, do a compare and contrast. Well, Pat, that's showing a little strength. It's above the rising ADMA. Nope. Below the, fall, below the flat 50-day, basically. Stay away from oil. Done. Biotechnology exhibiting a little bit of strength here. Doesn't look too bad on the weekly or the daily. Something to look into. Oh, by the way, what was the first stock on our list this morning, team, that we covered? And this is for everybody. Oh, IBB. What's IBB? It's a biotech ETF, too. There we go. Let's move on. Home builders. Picking up here a little bit. Home builders. Very sensitive to interest rates. And you can see this is lifting up on picking a volume. There's no real clean entry right here, but it does say maybe there's some home building stocks that have a good buy spot. That's systemization. Emission winners, that's what we do. Oh, this looks good. Well, there's no clean entry here, but I'll look at some home building stocks. There you go. That's power for us. Materials, just kind of chopping around, okay? Really needs to take out these tops right across here. And I'll draw the line for you to help you. Just simple basis, folks. They're easy to see, okay? Go across these tops right here with volume. That's what you need to see. It's a little loose here though. Be careful with this. There's some travel range in here, all right? So just something to be aware of. By the way, how do you build houses? You know, we showed the ETFs with, related to building. Oh, um, let me think here. Oh yeah. You, you need materials. See how you connect the dots? There you go. Communications, there's nothing there. Leave it alone. Energy, lagging, leave it alone. Financials picking up a little bit, showing a little bit of strength. There's no clean entry here, but it's nice to see financials hanging in there and industrials hanging in there a little bit too. Okay, so you've got opportunity. Oh, look at XLK dropping here hard. What does this tell us? You better be careful with technology stocks. And it has been telling you to be careful. And we have been. There we go. We don't forecast. We just get in line with what the charts are telling us. At Mission Winners, we teach what to look for in the charts. How to read the charts. Make more money and be safer too. Excuse me. This, this. There we go. Consumer staples kind of hanging in there. This is kind of a defensive type of play. Most people don't understand this, and I'll share this with you. 
not consumer discretionary, consumer staples, the things you have to have, okay? There's a lot of things we can go without, okay? But we pretty much need things like toothpaste and soap, right? And if you don't, keep your distance. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Take this seriously, but you got to have fun too, okay? But consumer staples, kind of a defensive group. Hanging in here, a little bit of selling on that bar there. And there's some tail bars there. It's a little loose, so just be cautious. Continue onwards. Utilities, kind of defensive play. Also interest rate sensitive play. Doesn't look too bad. Healthcare. Healthcare is kind of a defensive group too, right? You, good health is not an option. It's something we really have to strive for and take care of. Okay, so it's hanging in, but there was an ugly tail bar there. Kind of loose, so just be cautious with it. Let's move on. Consumer discretionary. Look at this. It doesn't look so good, does it? Be cautious. Leave it alone. Metals and mining, sloppy. Be careful with it. Energy, lagging. Leave it alone. I'll go back to it. I probably went too fast. Look at the weekly dropping here. Look at the daily. Also, note this bar. Here's a good lesson for everybody. Oh, it's a green bar on good volume. Look where it opened. Right there ran up and look where it closed. It closed below where it opened. It was met with selling pressure. Be careful with that. That's what the weekly is saying. And you can see here's the daily. So what does that say? Be careful with energy, oil, and gas. Move on. Retailing is just kind of sloppy. I mean, look at this. These are called tail bars for me. Runs up and drops off. Gaps up and drops. Runs up and reverses down. What does that say? There's a sell They're selling up there. Okay, it needs to get through these tops and it needs to get through there on the weekly with on. Here's the daily. Look at that. Oh, gap up, reverse down. Gap up, reverse down. Gap up, they take it down the next day. Let me just tell you, that's good chart reading. And mission winners, we work hard to educate what to look for to make better decisions. Software looks a little bit better than some on the weekly, a little choppier. Let's take out these tops here. Say some, maybe looking at some software stocks. Okay, so that was the ETFs. Now we dive into the max list stocks. But first, let me ask you, have you hit that subscribe button yet? We noticed that only about 40% of the viewers on our weekly videos are subscribed. If you have enjoyed this video so far, please hit the subscribe button. It is 100% free and it helps us get more great videos to you. Oh yeah, the like button. Also, please do hit that. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Now let's get into the max list stocks. There's Apple. Apple is just facing right here, but it's below the 21 EMA, but it's well above the 50 day. This is an inside bar. Could this lift off of there? Yeah, it could. There's potential that that could lift off that line right there, off this spot right here. What's it going to need? It's going to need a good market and it's going to need good volume pushing through this inside bar. Please remember that. There's some ceiling volume on the weekly too, so air to the side of caution. Now do a compare and contrast. There's Apple. Just looking at the daily, it's well above the 50 day. Here's Amazon. Amazon's below the 50 day, the green line. It's weaker. Stay away. That will help you. That will help you. Just leave it alone for right now. Be cautious with Amazon. Alibaba, there's no real leadership at this point in time. This needs to get over the 50 day. There's a ton of overhead supply here. Be cautious with that. Moving on. Baidu's the same situation. There's no power there. Leave it alone. Google. We owned Google. Ran up, started to fall. We sold it. Okay. And man, oh man, am I glad we did. Look at this. Look at that drop. Be careful with that. All right. Never argue with price. Please team up. This is for everybody. Banish this thought. Oh, it's Google. Um, it's Google. I'll just stay with it. it if you bought it right and you've ridden it, good. But if you bought up here, all of a sudden you're getting a problem. Don't do that to yourself. This is a powerful lesson. You keep losses small. Focus on clean and simple base entry. Price is good above the line and bad below. Focus on clean and simple base entry. Ride trends, sell some in a strength, but never argue with price. Never let a good profit turn into a loss either. Cardinal sin. Don't do that. Let's move on. Meta. We bought Meta back here. Lifted through here on good volume. Look at that. Look at the volume pickup on that bar. Nice weekly. Lifted up. 
started to form a pennant, started to just base up here a little bit, then it started to lose it. What did we do? You see the selling volume pick up on that bar falling out of a pennant? That was a trigger to sell some. By the way, we're not day traders. I don't look at five minute charts or 10 minute charts hardly ever. I'm looking at weekly and daily to make investing decisions, okay? But it's starting to drop here. Volume's coming into it. You don't want a good profit to turn into a loss. Starting to drop, we sell it. And aren't you glad you did? There you go. Sell it right in here, sell the rest right in here. I'd hate to still own it down here. And no, we don't. There's a valuable lesson for everybody. Let's move on. Microsoft, nothing there, leave it alone. Goldman Sachs, now this one's owned and it's, by the way, you see that base? There you go. See the volume on that bar? Look at the volume pickup on that bar. Right in here. That's where we were buying. And it's worked. Sold some. We're in good shape. Civil base right here. And I'll draw this for you on the weekly. Civil flat base. And it's working. Where's it going to go? I don't know. I don't know. We sold some in the strength. We're in good shape. Now, I'm not saying buy it up here. But I'm just pointing out. If you focus on clean and simple bases and volume surges through, look at the volume pickup on that bar right there, folks. Look at that. Lifted up through it and faded. The next bar, they voted. And we were voting too. There we go. Don't buy it up here. Don't chase price, but you can see what I'm talking about. Let's move on. MasterCard? No, nothing there. Look at, I mean, here's Goldman Sachs trending up right? Here's MasterCard. It's loose. It's choppy, trending down. Leave it alone. Nothing to do with it. Netflix, nothing to do with it. Leave it alone. By the way, this was owned. You see this simple base right here? This was bought back here. It was also, there was another spot right here. And it worked and it lifted. And what do we do? Sells into strength help. Make most of your decisions off daily and weekly charts. I don't look at five minute charts. There are too much emotion in there. I'll just tell you that right now. Nothing to do with this. It's below the 50 day. A lot of selling volume in here on the daily and the weekly. Leave it alone. Done. NVIDIA was a great run for us. Back here, back here, first part of the year. That was, um, that was very good. And so was this. Note the clean and simple base. Had a lower high here, started to drop. Okay. We finally took the last shares out and made money. I stress, we didn't sell up at the top. Okay. That, that's like an ego deal, like, oh, I'm going to get them. No, gosh. We let price and volume tell us what to do. Starts to roll down. You see the volume picking up on that bar right there? I think it's a trigger to sell some. Also, it was a lower high. This high was lower than this high. Just observing the chart saying, here, let's do something. I want to help you here. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's going up. That's pretty good. Uh, kind of gapped up a little bit and started reverse down. Oh, boy, not a lot of power. Um, gosh, this this high is lower than this high. That's not as much strength as it had. Oh, oh I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Uh, gosh, I wish the volume was a little bit heavier on that bar. Oh, yeah, we're still okay. Low selling volume. Oh, starting to drop on the same volume down on the 21 day. We got to be careful with that. Boom. See that? Isn't that neat? There's a real time lesson for you. The price guide your actions, and it will help you. Let's move on. NVDL, the leverage one, same situation. Tesla was owned back in here. Watch this. Look at that base. Look at the volume. Look at the volume that came into it on that bar. Right there. We bought more, runs up, sells into strength up here. Okay. Gave it time, sold more on this bar goes sideways. We sold more on that tail bar. We sold more on that down bar. Reversal bar here. And then you get the gap down. This was on earnings. And our last shares, we had sold into strength numerous times. And our last shares were sold here, right here on that gap down bar, which was still a good game. That's managing the stock early. There you go. And Visa, there's nothing to do with it. Look at the weekly and daily, nothing. Anyway, it's a video overview of the max list stocks. As you can see overall, there's not a lot of opportunity. Air to the side of caution. It could change. It may change Monday. And guess what? We'll have a key list and we'll be ready. We're always ready. All right, team. 
That's our weekly review. Hope it helps you get a clearer picture of where the market's headed and what stocks to keep an eye on. By the way, don't forget about our weekly top stocks to have on your watch list video coming out tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern. If you're curious about what we covered last week, you can find the link to that video in the top right corner. Remember, these watch list videos are just a small taste of what our VIP members get with the daily keyless videos on missionwinners.com. So if you're serious about finding those super performance stocks, consider joining us. Now, I'm curious to hear from you. What are your thoughts on today's market review? Do you have any questions or concerns? Feel free to drop a comment below. I love hearing from you. Thanks for sticking around for the whole video. If you liked it, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And remember, stay sharp, keep learning, and keep finding those winners.